half acre homestead. We kind of caught wind that there might be a few of y'all that might be wondering about how we did at the Arkansas State Fair. If you watched the video that we posted this morning, it gave you a little bit of an indication, but it didn't tell you the whole story, okay? So let me tell you what happened here, okay? We got down there, and I don't know, I don't have a show report, I don't know exactly how many New Zealands were competing, but let's just say, let's just say in show A, this little lady right here, she beat them all, Allison. This little lady right here beat them all, and she comes home with the best of breed from the Arkansas State Fair in show A. Now this has a significance, number one, this is... This is Bianca's second. This is Bianca's second best of breed. And also important is this is Bianca's third show leg. And so as soon as we can get some paperwork pushed through uh, and get her registered and everything, uh, she will be uh, receive her grand championship certificate. She is eligible for registration. We just got to get it all. We just got to get it all done and taken care of. Uh, but in the meantime, Bianca is already working on next spring's crop of babies. And uh, I just palpated her before we turned the camera on. And I do believe that I feel evidence of little embryos developing inside of her. So yay! Good job, Bianca. And so not only is she soon to become a registered grand champion and, and has already qualified for that, but she is going to become a mama. So yay for Bianca. All right. Good girl. She says, I don't care. Just take me home. <laughs> um, if you paid attention to the video that was posted this morning you heard the judges comments on Bianca and Ace unfortunately I don't know what happened I don't know what we thought we were actually recording the comments on every one of our rabbits especially especially in show a but something happened I don't know if we didn't push the button down or if we I mean just we thought we were recording with the camera but we didn't get footage of every rabbit so we got Bianca and we got Oh, Aww. I, you heard me talking about you. Yeah. And we got uh, Ace. Ace's comments. Ace's comments were very good, <laughs> but the judges' comments. If you'll, you'll, if you pay attention and listen really close, there's a lot of ambient noise in that video. That's just the noise that you have at a rabbit show. Okay. Uh, we try. It's hard if you're just even without being on camera. It's hard if you're just standing there trying to listen to the judge to hear what that man is saying or those gentlemen, ladies, gentlemen, whatever. It's hard to hear what they're saying. You know, you just got to listen close. Uh, I've actually snapped at the kids on a couple of occasions because the rabbit that I'm most interested in hearing the comments for, the judge starts giving comments and about that time they want to <coughs> tell me something stupid. And I've actually snapped at the kids, shut up, and still missed hearing my comments, so it didn't do me any but anyway yep she's ready to become a mama now we may or we may not just depending we may let her go ahead and show in the spring if she uh, if she raises a good litter and wants to get back in condition uh, we may we may let her show in the spring but what we're hoping is, is we're hoping we have babies from her we've got babies from Annabelle uh, Grace Grace or Gracie or Gracie Mae, whatever you want to call her, she is due anytime. We're actually, this is Wednesday, she's actually due on Thursday, so, but they've come early, so technically we're on, we're on baby watch for, for Gracie Mae right now. Uh, so we, we're going to have some litters, we've got, who else we got? Mustang Sally and a couple others. Shoot, I've got, I'm getting so many red does now, I can't remember. Anyway, we're, we're, we're good, we're good, but we're, we're hoping to have some nice juniors ready in time for spring shows in March. Isn't Gemma pregnant too? Hopefully she is now. Remember we had to retreat her the other day. She wasn't. 
Jim had missed, and so we tried again with her. But anyway, <clears throat> now we need to get on to the next part of our show. Okay? So, I'll be right back. Lucky here! This rabbit mysteriously appeared on the barrel <laughs> while my back was trying to do it. Folks, if you, you got a rabbit, I posted on Facebook. If you like my Facebook page, you already know this. But I posted on the Facebook page a couple of weeks ago, something like that. I said, who thinks I should name my next buck rabbit Hugh Hefner? And that post got about, I don't know, 37 and a half likes or something. So guess what? This little gentleman right here, his name is Hugh Hefner. Now we'll call him Hefner. We'll I don't really like saying Hugh. I don't know why, but I'm kind of getting used to it now. But anyway, this is Hugh Hefner. He's trying to be a he's trying to be a pain here. This little guy here is the one buck. Remember we did that story or we did that big old long video. He's got a little his fur's a little bit wiry, but I think he's getting ready to blow and grow some more. Or he if not, he will by the spring surely. But do you remember the video we were talking about, you know, Marcy having a big butt and Romeo having no butt and putting the two together because they also had opposite, compl they complemented each other on the shoulders as well. Well, folks, the proof's in the pudding. And this, would you stop that? I want you right over here. The proof's in the pudding. And this is a big ball of red pudding right here. Okay? Because in show A, Little Hugh Hefner here, at four and a half months old, mind you, he took best opposite sex of breed. So basically what that means is, is he's pretty much second place. Bianca got best of breed. Little Hugh Hefner here, come here. He's like, I'm running away. <laughs> Little Hugh Hefner here got best opposite sex of breed. Okay? And guess what? Since that was best opposite sex of breed, of course, he also took best opposite sex of variety, but there wasn't enough bucks in the red variety for him to get a leg for that. Because he took best opposite sex and breed, there was enough bucks in the whole breed that he qualifies for his first grand champion leg, leg number one. Okay. Afternoon show rolls around. Okay. Now we had a we had a couple of little mishaps. You know, um, I had to, I had to corral Becca and Allie. Show B comes around, starts off with the senior buck. We've got Sorrel on the table, right? <laughs> and so the man gives his comments, puts Sorrel back on the cage. He goes to the next rabbit, flips her over, him or her or whatever it was, and was looking at the next rabbit. And he says, somebody needs to come Somebody needs to get this senior buck or we're going to have him for supper. And I had a couple of girls, their, their eyes turned red, smoke started coming out of their ears, and I had to corral them both because they were fixing to whoop that old boy. So we went and got Sorrel, we put, went and put him back in the carrier. Nobody ate him, I promise you, he's around there in his cage, right where he's supposed to be, but uh, I don't know. I guess some judges think that kind of thing is funny, but yeah, I had a, I had a couple of young females that didn't find that amusing in the least because needless to say he is one of the, one of their most he's one of their most favoriteest bunnies on the whole place anyway so no we didn't eat him he gets over to Bianca and just to make a long story short all of our reds both shows got first in their respective classes okay so we came home with a total of 10 blue ribbons we took, we took five rabbits, two shows, ten blue ribbons. Came home the first show. We had a best of breed and a best opposite sex of breed. But the guy that wanted to eat Sorrel, he also didn't like Bianca nearly as well as... Whoops, come here. He didn't like Bianca nearly as well as most other judges have. And But she did take best opposite sex of variety. But she did not go on to place on the breed level. But Hugh, little Hugh Hefner here earned his second show leg of the day with a best of breed win. And there it is in show B at the Arkansas State Fair. So in the New Zealand breed, 
our bunch of ratty looking reds they uh somebody down there seemed to feel sorry for them and thought that they deserved to win i'm just i'm just being i'm just being silly obviously here folks but you know the judge from the day if you listen to those comments on that video i posted this morning it, and by the way that'll start off and you'll see Allie brushing a rabbit at our show table Keep watching now. Don't turn it off just because you see Allie, okay? Y'all right? don't do that now. That, that's just me. When you get when you get about three minutes into that video, you'll actually see some judging for uh, for Bianca, and you'll see Ace, and you'll see and you'll see the judge announce Bianca as best of variety and uh, him as best opposite sex of variety. And we didn't get the footage where he actually announced them as best of breed, but. They, so, our shabby little crow's nest rabbitry took best of breed in New Zealand, both shows at the Arkansas State Fair, and it just, you know, that first show was over, Bianca, at one, Bianca and Hugh, they got those, we could have gone home and been, right then and just been tickled to death, but, you know, there was still more to come, and we do have some footage of that gentleman judging the New Zealand's show B, I don't have all of it. But uh, later on in the video down the road, we, we will probably cut that in for those of you that are interested in watching that. Uh, yes, we do have one video where he said something about eating soul for supper. So if y'all want to see that, you know, just for, just for giggles, you know. Uh, you know, I guess if you've been a judge as long as some of these people have been judges and looked at some, not only some great rabbits, but saw also some nasty rabbits, I guess you think that's fun. Though. got her on a scale I'm still curious I'd like to especially with her being pregnant because I know she's gonna probably put on a pound to what she already was she's probably gonna put on another pound of just pure baby but anyway uh, what else did we need to tell in our show results video did anything else happen at the show nothing I don't think yeah so. something else yeah. happened at, something else happened that day I fell asleep, <laughs> I fell asleep. <laughs> sure. I've actually got some pictures of that. <laughs> we, we, Allie told me I couldn't post that on the Facebook page, but we can do enough likes or something like that on this video. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Allie, if we get enough likes on this video, we might just have to post uh, post those pictures of Allie snoozing in a, in a yeah, chair. Yeah, or that one picture. Allie. Or evil Allie. Oh, well, I wasn't even going to go there. I was going to save that for blackmail at a later date. But, uh, we, uh... <laughs> no, before it was all said and done and over with, I guess all day long it was a great day, just a wonderful day. Had a good time, met some friends, friends of people we've known forever. We met some, we met some new friends. Uh, uh, our friend Francis from Oh Lord, forgive me. I'm gonna have to put that up in text here somewhere along here because I can't remember the name of her. Oh, she don't shoot me. Uh, I can't remember the name of her rabbitry, but she has a. Uh, she came and she came and met up with us uh, and visited with us, uh, you know, uh, briefly. And we, it was great to see her again. She came up and picked up her little blue. She had bought the little blue buck from uh, Jada's last litter. We've had him since like I think she bought him in June or something. Or no, maybe not that long. But anyway, it's been a Lisa. while. She's been meaning to come pick him up, and things happened. <coughs> and we finally were able to meet up with her so she could pick him up and everything. And uh, Francis, it's good seeing you again. Uh, who else did we see? Oh, Stephen, Stephen, Stephen Graham. He, he came. We did some. We did some bunny swapping. Uh, and you know what? Those are surprise bunnies. You don't know bunnies. about this yet, even if you did like my Facebook yeah. page. Yeah, <laughs> those are secret bunnies. Yeah. Again, yeah, those are our secret bunnies. We haven't told anybody yeah. yet. But anyway, last but not least, there's two big, two other things that happened that day. One. Our lovely Rebecca treated us to Golden Corral for supper that <laughs> night, and I ate way too much, and I couldn't hold my eyes open. And so, since I was falling asleep, I let Dana drive, 
and then she scared me so bad that I couldn't go to sleep. So I thought I, so I got my belly full, got sleepy, then I thought I was gonna die, and I woke up. That's horrible. It's your son's fault. I'm lying about all that. Actually, Allie and I both slept all, almost all the way home, so we were good. But it was a great day, folks. Uh, to anybody, all of y'all folks that were there, hey, we would have loved to have met you. I mean, I don't know who mm -hmm. was there, but you know. Uh, if you ever see us at a show or anywhere else, feel free to stop by and say hello. We Good also luck. met one of the guy you guys got Lightning McQueen from. Yeah, the guy that, yeah. He I can't was think of his name, Mr. but. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Thomas Rowland from, uh, what's, he, what's his rabbitry called? Deep South? I think so, yeah. Deep South rabbitry? Yeah, I think so. I couldn't remember. Okay, anyway, uh, <clears throat> yeah, we got Lightning McQueen uh, from him back in April at Jonesboro at the show. Hey, we also see those on. The ag teacher. The, the ag teacher. I can't think of her name. From Maynard? Oh, yeah. Uh, ag, ag teacher from Maynard School District, FFA chapter. Uh, had a bunch of their students there. We have sold rabbits to several of them. And they had a bunch of nice rabbits there that day. And they were showing and did very well. And it was good seeing all of them again. Absolutely, yes. Uh, but, yeah, it was just a beautiful day. Uh, we just weren't sure how well we were going to like a state fair. It kind of turned me off to start with the fact that for a state fair or any other fair, you've got to do your entries 30 days before the actual show. Well, anybody that knows anything about rabbits knows that these guys can change in a week. Mm -hmm. Okay? They can be in perfect condition today and look like crap two days from now. Okay? So, much less going 30 days. So, But we lucked out. <laughs> we had a couple, Gemma. <laughs> Gemma was blowing a coat, and it seemed like somebody else of our five was blowing a little bit, but I think it was Ace. Ace was blowing a little bit. Hugh Hefner here and Bianca were looking mighty fine, and evidently the judges appreciated that and noticed that, so, hey, what can we say? We can't say enough. I mean, folks, don't, don't, don't take it at more bragging, okay? We don't, you know us, we don't do that, but honestly, as much work as we put into this to have a successful day like that after after the wasted day we had at Murfreesboro a month before that folks we're just excited we just want to share it with you that's all but uh, I guarantee you I guarantee you if the situation was reversed we'd be celebrating right along with you and that's just what we're giving you an opportunity to do we're just so happy uh, unless something unexpected comes up or we just do something on a spur of the moment we're pretty well done showing and the reason that I know this is because pretty much everybody that we showed female wise is now gonna have babies yeah <laughs> we brought home Gemma she's been bred we brought home Bianca she's been bred and I think everybody else we took was bucks and mm -hmm. you know I'm not gonna drive you know four or five hours to a show for three rabbits you know but we've got youngsters annabelle's got a nice litter of youngsters that are looking you know they're about a month old they're starting to look nice um uh, gracie's fixing to pop out a litter as well as bianca's got some coming who else has got some coming we hope mustang sally's got some coming uh, so we've got we've got we've got grub babies and sorrel babies coming I don't think anybody is currently bred to Ace. Now, Hugh Hefner is going to be our go-to guy eventually. I mean, if you look at him, you can understand why. He is eventually going to be our go-to guy, but he's not quite old enough. But he's nowhere near ready to breed, okay? We put a doe in the cage with him, and he sits in the corner like, why are you here, you know? So, he's going to learn. He's going to get his act together, and so on and so forth you need some massage anyway folks I could talk all day but you're probably you probably already hit that red X and got rid of me so but for those of you that stuck around thank you thank you for listening to all this stuff and uh, we are so happy you could be here with us and celebrate this wondrous occasion what about you, Hugh? You got anything to say? Yeah. You sure got a fat belly. I know. Uh, he must, yeah, he, he takes after his mom and daddy. 
Uh, if I didn't tell you, Romeo left. He went to his new owner at the Arkansas State Fair. Uh, he is now residing in somewhere in central Arkansas. I want to say Bryant, Arkansas, or maybe it was Sheridan. I'm not sure. He went, anyway, are you talking about Steven? He's in Sheridan. He's in Sheridan? Okay. Yeah. That's what is address said okay all right well, anyway they're all they're all just <coughs> close together there i guess but he yeah uh, he's over in that location and he's going to be having some nice red soon because and the reason i know this is because not only did romeo go home with him but lucky the the rabbit the rabbit that survived the coon attack that we called lucky well that is her official name now stephen chose to keep <laughs> lucky as her name so she will be lucky forever hopefully and she went away with a ba belly full of babies, sired, <laughs> sired by sorrow. So, and yes, these were confirmed. There's no mistake in it. She was full of them. So as long as she gets in and she makes a nice, beautiful, warm nest and raises them all like she should, he is on the road to raising a really nice herd of New Zealand reds. Um, so. I think you said she was due Friday. She is due Friday, absolutely, yep. Because Gracie's due tomorrow. And Lucky's due Friday, and hopefully we'll be getting... And she's the already haystashing. Yep, <laughs> yep. Steven sent me a picture. She's got a big old look like a hay mustache sticking out both sides of her mouth. Yep, just tickled, it, tickled me to death. She's doing so good. But hopefully Friday we're going to get a, a, a message, and he's going to let us know that she had some babies. So, anyway, what you got to tell everybody, Allie? Like, subscribe, hit the little bell. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Folks, y'all have a great day and God bless.